14,000 cars pass through Main Street and Gaylord every day. These intersections are always busy and have seen their fair share of accidents over the years. In our peak periods of time, we do get busy. Um, so I think all of us as, as um, communities would take a look at this and say, you know, it's something we have to look at. City leaders in Gaylord believe they should have the flexibility when it comes to using technology for law enforcement. They think it could cut the number of accidents and force drivers to pay more attention. We're working with law enforcement, the Michigan Municipal League, all the interested players in this uh, legislation to make sure that we have some of the best crafted uh, public policy out there. The whole goal again is public safety. Representative Wayne Schmidt from Traverse City is one of the lawmakers behind this bill. His plan will allow police to distribute tickets based off of photographic evidence of drivers running through red lights, a practice that has already been adopted in other communities around the country. We're talking to uh, people in other states about the successes they've had and the downfalls, but mostly it's been very successful. We just want to capitalize on that. Even if the power is given to the communities, implementation may take a while. You know, we're, we're pretty well devastated with our budgets right now. Um, at this particular point in time, that seems like it's a far, far place and in, in some place far away that we just couldn't afford.